So you talked about election night. I want to talk about election night also, but it brings me to the issue of law and order. Uh, and, and you, when you ran in 2016, you were the law and order candidate. It's almost prescient to think that four years later, that is that one of the main issues. So uh, we've got this anarchy going on in the streets. We've got towns in, uh, run by, uh, and, and states run by Democrat governors and mayors who are refusing to allow the National Guard to come in. There are people in those cities and states who want order to come in, but you can't go in unless they request your help. That's right. Every problem. What are you going to do? Let's say there are there are threats. They say that they're going to threaten riots if they lose on election night. Assuming we get a a, an ele a, a winner on election night, what are you going to do? We'll put them down very quickly How are you if they do, do that? that. We have the right to do that. We have the power to do that if we want. Look. It's called insurrection. We just insurrection. send in and we, we do it very easy. I mean, it's very easy. I'd rather not do that because there's no reason for it. But if we had to, we'd do that and put it down within minutes. Within minutes. Uh, Minneapolis, they were having problems. We sent in the National Guard within a half an hour. That was the end of the problem. It all went away. Kenosha. Uh, you look at Kenosha. Look at the problems they had. In fact, the sheriffs there, the police chief, they're all on my side 100 percent. Law enforcement all over the country is on my side. And I will say this. Look. We have, even with the horrible things that are going on in New York and Chicago, run by, all run by Democrats. Everything we're talking about, you know, is run by Democrats. We're not talking about one Republican place. It's all run by Democrats. Even the police chiefs, they're all quitting all over the country. Yes. Every single, I think I saw 15 or 20, every single one of them is from a, a Democrat city. Look, uh, before China sent us the plague, before the plague came in, we had the best crime numbers in history. Mm -hmm. When the plague came, it changed things. Let's face it, it changed mm -hmm. things. But all of the problems are in Democrat-run cities. They're badly run. The taxes are too much. They, they want to defund their police. Biden is all in that. He hasn't still, to this day, used the term law and order. He's afraid to use the term because he's going to lose. He would lose the radical left supporters that he's got, if they even show up for him, because there's a question as to whether or not they're going to show up. But they don't want to talk about law and order. One other thing, you have a lot of people living in the suburbs. You know it well. You live in Westchester. You know it well. I ended a rule, a regulation, where low-income yes. housing has been forced into the suburbs. And this has been going on for a long time, but especially so under Biden and Obama. I ended it. I terminated it. Not going to happen anymore, unless I'm not here, in which case they're going to reinstitute it worse. So the suburbs are not going to have these projects forced into them. Mm -hmm. Now, who in the suburbs is not going to vote for me? They're going to make the projects bigger, better. They're putting Cory Booker in charge. I mean, the, one of the most liberal. The most liberal is Kamala, but Cory's right there. And he's going to be in charge of building projects in the suburbs. You're going to destroy your suburbs. It's already happening because you see what's gone on. You see what they've done. They take over the zoning and they force projects, projects, really terrible situation. So the cities are being destroyed and be, uh, the combination of lawlessness and the pandemic shut down New York City and uh, now the suburbs. But you know, well, the you suburbs know, is going to be next. Look, yeah, the I, suburbs I, yeah. of people, these same protesters, but they're not protesters. They're anarchists, they're agitators Who and they're they? rioters. Who are they? Uh, they're people that in many cases are paid by whom? and then they're stupid kids. Uh, Who are they? Who's by paying them? people that we're looking at right now. We're looking at them right now. Can you tell me? No, not yet, but I'll, you'll be going to be finding out pretty soon. Look, they're stupid people, too, because they'll be overthrown as soon as they get their wish. These people don't respect them. They're just using their money. These are super liberal people that have money, and they're helping these anarchists and their agitators and their dangers. Did you see what happened over the weekend with the people walking up to a restaurant and grabbing the grabbing steak their, off the plate food and, and biting the steak and then dropping it down? Yeah. Two elderly people having dinner at a restaurant and they walk in and they take a steak and they take the potato and, and they eat it? And that's exactly the problem. Now you're waiting to be asked in. When does that, when is that change? When do so, you cross the Rubicon? Well, in Kenosha, they asked me in. Right. And we did a job like nobody's ever seen before. But if they don't ask you in, there are not American to do people it who unless want Unless you do insurrection, in which case it's just not big enough for insurrection. You won't do insurrection before no, election You don't day. need it. You don't know. Not yet. Oh, I'd be willing to do it in a heartbeat if you needed it, but we don't need it. Our National when Guard. When do you need it? Our National Guard is so good and so tough. But they've and by the way, asked. police departments in places that we're talking about, Seattle, we were going into Seattle, 
And they solved the problem the night before we got there. Yeah, we were getting ready to go. There. They heard we were going in. Did you hear Ted Wheeler's numbers? Like 20% in uh, Portland. Ted Wheeler's a disaster. He's right. a laughingstock. He went out to protest with these so-called agitators, and they were going to destroy him. They were going to beat him up badly. He fortunately had security, but they were going to oh. beat him up badly. The man is a disaster. If he would say, come into Portland, within a half an hour, the whole thing would be but solved. he's not going to say that. Uh, the governor's gotten closer. Look what's going on out there. That's I will tell Kate you, Brown, is the that? governor has gotten closer. I spoke to the governor two days ago. Good. They're arresting a lot of people. Good. Now, we sent in the U.S. Marshals for the killer, the man that killed the young man in the street. Just right. shot him. I mean, it was yeah, on television. Cold just cold-blooded killed him. He didn't like his hat or he didn't yeah. like something, and it wasn't a Trump hat. Right. It was peaceful it was, prayer. It was a lot. It was a religious hat. Right. And he shot him cold blood. Two and a half days went by, and I put out, when are you going to go get him? And the U.S. Marshals went in to get him. Good. And in a short period of time, they ended in a gunfight. This guy was a violent criminal. Out of the mouth. And the U.S. Marshals killed him. And I will tell you something. That's the way it has to be. There has to be retribution when you have crime like this. There can't be guys standing up that want to fight. They want to fight. But the, you can't throw bricks at people with shields. But or, the problem, Mr. President, you and I both agree. The problem is there are now prosecutors who are not prosecuting yeah. the protesters. Yeah. They, this is like a, a grassroots level. They're being funded yeah. by socialists who are now electing people like I used to prosecute crime. They're, they're, they're letting them go. So what's going to happen, and this is a shame, you're going to have a backlash like you've never seen if these people don't stop. Because you have very smart, very tough people that aren't going to take it anymore. And once they say, we're not going to take it anymore, it's going to end in a very vicious backlash. And that's a terrible thing. How does it end?